If I'm really gonna go in with a session, I will rub an arousal gel all around my clit and leave it there to soak in. And so when it comes to touching it, I'm fucking ready. Ooh, I'm fucking ready, mate. <laughs> oh my God, the other day I was literally imagining like a gangbang um, situation and I was just like, <laughs> So we are back with our five top tips. I'm so excited. Five top tips for solo love, masturbation. Now, why do we call it solo pleasure and solo sex? That is because we should be putting solo sex on the same pedestal as partner sex because it is both equally important and enjoyable. Because masturbation is a bit of a dirty word, isn't it? It's like you hear masturbation, you hear like you're having a wank. It's always kind of taking the piss out of. Um, but it's just as important, if not more important than actual sex with another partner. Oh my God, yes. Cause it's where we discover ourselves and what we find pleasurable and we really get to learn our own bodies. So our tip one is set the scene and maybe get naked. We actually don't get naked enough. A lot of us go from day to day, from pajamas to clothes to never looking to a mirror. And one of the best ways to get yourself back connected with your body is to get yourself naked mm. be ready for a pleasure session and connect with your body and the best way to do that is in the new oh that's so true also like it's so easy to masturbate with clothes on like lazy lazy masturbation but you only really get to the real pleasure when you can fully connect with your body also i really love to put music on to set the scene for my masturbation it makes me feel all hot and sexy if you have like that great sexy playlist maybe just woo yourself with some candles mm, scented candles are the bomb i really like mood lighting whenever i get into bed and i know i'm gonna get a bit frisky i always make sure i have my little salt lamp on or just candle lit that can be really sexy so i don't have any bright light staring in my face and if i am watching porn screens down to the lowest setting so i'm not there squinting my eyeballs mm. Oh baby, we love this one. Lube, oh. lubrication. Ah, oh, it's so important. And people don't realize how important it is for solo sex. But if you're using toys or even your fingers, things are gonna feel a lot better the wetter you are down there. Some people don't like it messy. For a long time I was like, nah, I don't wanna put the effort in of using lube. But trust me, it makes it really a does. difference especially if you're using toys, whether or not that's inserting a toy or using a toy externally, lube changes how they yeah. feel and it is so good. And this isn't just, we're not talking about people with vaginas as well. This is for everyone. People with penises, everyone. Um, lube can make things so much more like sexy yeah fluid and also there are loads of different types of lube that you can get oils can be really great if you're not using toys um but also cbd is also a thing that you should be exploring because it heightens sensitivity it gets rid of some pain if you feel pain down there and relaxes you mm -hmm. into the mood and the moment we love CBD lube, it's one of our favourite lubes. You can get so many different types and a lot of people just stick with normal, but if you're bored of normal, go for other types. Um, you can get arousal ones. I mean, I love my arousal gels. If I'm really gonna go in with a session, I will rub an arousal gel all around my clit and leave it there to soak in. And so when it comes to touching it, I'm fucking ready. Ooh, I'm fucking ready, mate. <laughs> Tip number three, toys sex toys oh my god what would you do what would we do without them yeah toys obviously they're one of our favorites and we're not just talking about toys for people with vaginas toys for people with penises too is such a big deal and oh i think my god. there's really bad stigma around people men especially having yeah. toys but it's a game changer there are so many different types we're not just talking about anal toys we are talking about over the cock masturbators sheaths oh. you can get so many different types now let's break this taboo penis owners go out and get yourself a sex toy you will not regret it yeah but the more you spend on a toy generally speaking the better quality it is and the better it will be invest in your sex toys because investing in your sex toys is investing in your pleasure and therefore investing in positive yeah. mental health. And if you don't know where to start with looking for sex toys, if you wanna know our own experiences, every single year we do a top sex toys video of the whole year. So 
there are a lot of toys videos out there that you can watch that where we're just talking about everything that we've tried ever basically couples toys and vaginal toys um, and just find what feels good for you. Think about how you masturbate. Is it an external toy? Do you need vibration? Do you want something that sucks? Do you need something inside? Do you want something that pulsates, vibrates, fucking ricochets? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, it could be um, anything. It may seem like a bit of a rubbish tip, but breathing techniques, oh my goodness, bring you right back out of your stressy, busy, rummaging head and back into your body so you can really focus on your mm -hmm. pleasure. Whenever you're not feeling it in your mind, you need to then reconnect with your body and breathing techniques really, really help you do this. And this is like, this can come in loads of different forms, but in one of the ways that we've learned in the past, it's kind of visualizing the breath coming up your body and then down your body. So like breathe into mm. your genitals basically. Um, and if you do need any extra tips, um, head on over to the video that we did with Grace Hazel because she she's a vagina witch and she taught us <laughs> the best breathing techniques to orgasm. And I still use them to this day when yeah. I can't come when my brain's somewhere else, I will still sit there and imagine pleasure coming in and stress yes. coming out. It's, it really yeah. works. And it's also great for partner sex when you're like in your head too much as well. Lastly, tip number five, what is going to aid you on your journey? Whether that be your imagination and visualizing something that's happening to you, porn, audio erotica, or maybe some graphic novels. It could be anything. What is your aid? Think about the thing that really pushes you over the edge. Now we all know that masturbation isn't just about the orgasm, but a lot of us really want to get there. So what is it that makes you bust your nut? Whether or not that's imagining something, having a fantasy within your head, or having a little bit of help with things like porn or erotica, sexy audios. I mean, do you look at, oh, I was gonna say Tumblr, RIP Tumblr. <laughs> That was like my go-to. Um, sexy gifts, sexy pictures, art even. What gets you going? Our OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. I like what you did there. For me, visualization and my imagination is what gets me to my best point in my masturbation and my solo sex. I will be visualizing like anything from anal sex to someone choking me to like oh my god the other day i was literally imagining like a gangbang um situation and i was just like oh yeah do you have your go-to things that you imagine sometimes like i'll be watching porn and i'll be like you know what this isn't gonna do it for me i'm just gonna put my porn aside and really go for it really yeah. imagine and it can be whatever you like as well there are no limits to what your imagination can actually exactly. do it can be as beautiful as expensive as rough as, as anything as you like it could even just be like make-believe. Crazy things might be happening, like magic, fairy tale, shit. You could be fucking vampires, unicorn for all we know. Oh, the possibilities are endless. <laughs> yeah, I love, I love your like really sweet fantasies, and mine's like, like villains, <sighs> evil people, like spirits. <laughs> I'm like, a Anything vampire, please, please bite me. Oh, actually vampires, I suppose, depending on which vampires you're looking at. Pretty, pretty spooky. But yeah, those were our five top tips for how to have better solo sex. I hope you enjoyed them. Get pumping. What are your tips? We would love to know. Please comment them down below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Do you already do some of these tips, please? Is that the thing that gets you off? Tell us in the comments below. And if you are wanting some more of us, of course you can listen to our podcast, Fuck Skiver, as well as you can follow us on Instagram at Come Curious, Read Amber X, Florence Bark for more juicy content all about sex. Yeah. Mm. Alrighty, everyone. Goodbye. Mm.